Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about food that can generally be considered allergens and when you should introduce it to your kids. Hi guys, it's Renee with New Ways Nutrition and today we're talking all about food allergies and how we can hopefully prevent them. So the Recommendations from the American Academy of Pediatrics have changed in the not too distant past and they now recommend that you introduce your kids to the high risk allergen foods as soon as you start introducing them to solid foods around six months. So those high risk foods are going to be wheat, soy, eggs, nuts, all of those types of things. You can get a full list of them on my website and we'll link to that below. So you want to be introducing those early and often. You want them to have experienced all of them multiple times before their one year birthday. Now, if your kid is a high risk kid, this is someone who is considered high risk. They have severe eczema or they have an immediate or close family member that has an allergy. So if you have a sibling of your youngest who has a peanut allergy, when you're going to introduce food to your youngest, check with your pediatrician first. Everyone should really be in close communication about this type of stuff, but especially if you're a high risk family, make sure you're talking to your pediatrician. For those of you that aren't, you can go ahead and introduce them as soon as you start introducing solid foods. The one caveat is you don't want it to be the first food that you introduce. You wanna avoid the high allergen foods, those first one or two foods, that first meal. Make sure you know how your kid is gonna to react to normal food before you introduce a high potential allergen there, just so you can tell the difference. That's really the only reason. The other thing is, is that the previous recommendations and the general thinking used to be that you should introduce a new food only once every three to five days and wait that three to five day period to make sure there's no reaction. That's no longer the thinking and you can go ahead and introduce multiple different foods all at once. If they're going to have an allergic reaction, there's no telling if they're going to have it at the first time or the hundredth time. So you really don't need to be waiting in between to make sure that they don't have a reaction. Just pay close attention as you're introducing new foods and then try and weed it out if you do see any type of minor reaction. Any major reaction, obviously you want to be immediately calling your doctor, but minor, you can kind of try and figure out what it is. So food allergies, early and often. If you're a high risk family, talk with your pediatrician first for sure. And that is our talk about food allergies. I hope you learned something and have a good day.